Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel if you're a channel subscriber and a big fat welcome if you're not around here. My name is Az and in today's video we're going to do something just a little bit different because um, I have come up with a challenge um, and it's kind of I suppose an adaptation of the Amazon challenge um, but different because it's for Fallout. Um, now ever since I built my A to Z um, bunker challenge build um, I have been obsessing over Fallout, and I mean obsessing. I downloaded the Fallout Shelter app on my phone and have been playing that for like ages. Um, I downloaded a whole bunch of Fallout CC. I have even started playing Fallout 4 again. But I figured, you know what? I'd love to merge Sims and Fallout together properly. So I've come up with this challenge and this is it. So, your vault is designed to protect a fragment of the human population from nuclear holocaust, of course you're going to design it, um, by any means necessary. Your staff are to monitor radiation levels and work towards the repopulation and security of the human race. You are responsible <laughs> for the safety and operation of your own vault, um, and under no circumstances is the vault to be exited, and, you know, unless there's a couple of special cases, we'll go into that later. Um, rule breakers are considered expendable. How you get rid of those is up to you, um, and and basically our future rests in your hands. So starting out the rules are actually really really simple. Um, all you have to do is build a vault or a bunker um, or you can download one off the gallery. Um, in fact I made one not long ago that you can download and use quite easily. Um, and you start off with a either an adult or a young adult sim um, and this sim is going to be your overseer. From here choose your difficulty. For easy you want two more dwellers so add two more sims to that household. For medium you only get one other sim and in hard there's none. It's just the overseer to start with. Um, some tips as well before we go much further, if you've got Strangerville installed that's a great place to start and to put a vault or a bunker um, because the possessed townies that walk around um, they make for great zombies so it's great to be able to hide from them. Um, plus the red has suits or whatever they actually are as well. Um, as well as that mods and custom content are definitely your friend. I've got in my own game I've downloaded some Fallout CC um, but yeah, mods, custom content, definitely your friend, especially if you don't have any other expansion packs. Okay, so if you want to build your own vault, uh, there's a few things that your vault should have, um, not necessarily needs to have, but definitely should. Um, and that is uh, some barracks or places for your dwellers to sleep, toilets, duh, uh, showers and, you know, bathroom, stuff like that. Uh, the power plant is definitely optional. Um, there's some real cool stuff with get to work uh, that is quite like machinery-esque, I suppose. Um, and a few of its pieces that you can make look like it's sort of like an engine or some sort of power plant. Um, but that's purely for aesthetics. It looks really cool. Um, indoor garden. Now that's really, really important. What I did with my particular bunker was dug a big fat hole, removed the ceiling, removed the floors and had it open to the world outside, um, but just had like a glass roof on top. So it wasn't actually open to the world outside, but you could still see outside. Um, and that way your, your plants and stuff down below are still getting light. So if you can do some sort of um, sunroof, uh, then that's probably really, really cool. Uh, so you need somewhere to eat. You can have a kitchen, but no fridge. The reason for that is that Sims will use the fridge regardless. So yeah, they only eat the stuff that a gardener will grow or, you know, is grown in your own vaults indoor garden. Um, you also need a library or a study, so somewhere with books and computers for your dwellers to learn and study. Um, a med bay, um, this is particular with uh, get to work, um, so it's not a must have but it's a, a good to have at least somewhere to decontaminate um, incoming dwellers or survivors that are coming into your vault brand new. Um, a lab would be good but that sort of can double as a study if you've only got base game, if you're only doing the base game version. Um, a workshop is great for the engineer, somewhere where he can practice his handiness skill like at the um, like the woodworking table and stuff like that. A gym is really great for explorers so that they can get their fitness skills up. Um, a classroom or somewhere for children to like play and learn and you know work on their skills. Um, a common room for your dwellers to all hang out um, and a broadcasting studio and that one I'll go into more with the radio broadcasting uh, role. Um, so some of the rooms can be merged into one for example the common room can also be where they eat if you know what I mean um, and the bunker should also be as deep as it can go so ensure your living space is as far away from the radiation or the outside world as it can possibly be. Okay so I'm just going to go over the rules. Um, every dweller has got to have an assigned role. There's no use wasting resources for example air, water, food on 
dwellers that aren't doing anything. You know what I mean? Um, in the event that the overseer dies suddenly, a new overseer will be voted in by the dwellers or the you know inhabitants of your vault to replace the old overseer. If your overseer ages to elder though, then the overseer can choose and train their successor. Um, the overseer is also not to have any children. As the leader of the vault, their number one priority should always be to the vault. Um, and having children would add complications when it comes to having that number one priority as well as when it comes to choosing a successor. You don't want a biased overseer choosing their own child. And anyone not following the rules will be exiled or executed. It's your choice. Um, in terms of resident admittance, only explorers can invite other survivors into the vault. So if there's any townies in the world, only the explorers can go out and get them and bring them back. Um, and then the new dwellers need to go through some sort of decontamination procedure in your med bay and you can come up with that decontamination procedure yourself. You can also add any other creator sim dwellers depending on your chosen difficulty. So if you're on easy, you can add a CAS dweller every week. If you're on medium, you can add one every two weeks. Um, and if you're on hard, sorry to say never. You're never allowed to have a CAS dweller. You have to only have townies. You only get to choose townies. Unless you have a radio broadcaster and that'll come later on. We'll explain that in a second. Okay, so we're into the fun bit now. We're going to talk about staff duties. Um, now there's two different sections when it comes to staff duties. Base game and then expansions. We'll go over the base game first and then if you've got any expansions then awesome because there's a few little extras that can be added on that are quite fun. Um, so to start with obviously is the overseer. So he or she is the leader of your vault. Um, they're the first dweller that you make um, and they're in charge of the vault and how it's run. Now I've got suggested traits for each of these roles as well um, and that's not a you have to have but it would make your life easier perhaps. The explorer is the only dweller allowed to leave the safety of the vault. Um, they're the only ones really that have got the skills required to survive in the wasteland and go looking for useful collectibles and other survivors. Uh, what comes under collectibles is really up to your discretion so they could go fishing, uh, foraging, um, picking up rocks and you know bits and pieces like that. Uh, the scientist is the dweller responsible for research. They're the ones that dedicate their day to learning all that they can about the apocalypse or your nuclear disaster or whatever it is that you have chosen has ravaged your world um but the scientists are the ones that are trying to research and figure out how to make the world habitable again i suppose the engineer is the dweller responsible for ensuring that your vault stays up and running uh, if anything breaks the this particular dweller the engineer is in charge of fixing it uh, they also can use the woodworking table to make handy items for your vault dwellers the gardener is the dweller responsible for gardening obviously and ensuring that there's enough food for vault habitants um so Gardening is going to be your only source of food allowed, um, unless obviously the explorer finds anything above ground. Um, the gardener is mainly in charge of growing and divvying out the food. The radio broadcaster is probably one of the more complicated roles for just the base game stuff. So this dweller is responsible for broadcasting outside of the vault as well as the inside. Um, so in that sense they're responsible for entertainment so can learn how to play an instrument um, to entertain the other dwellers. Um, but because this dweller broadcasts on the radio you can now actually put stereos and radios in your vault and have your dwellers use them. As well as that though um, because the radio broadcaster is actually broadcasting outside outside of your vault, this is going to attract more dwellers to your vault um, because it's a safe haven really. So you can now add CAS dwellers to your vault more often. For easy you can add them every four game days, for medium you can add them every one game week and for hard you can now actually add CAS dwellers every two weeks. Caretakers. So these dwellers are responsible for the upbringing of toddlers and children. Teenagers not so much, they more look after themselves. Um, but the caretakers in particular look after uh, your younger dwellers to ensure that they have everything they need to survive um, and that they grow up healthy with, you know, skills and traits for whatever job that they're assigned. Um, the caretakers are also in charge of ensuring that the vault remains clean um, and healthy. So picking up rubbish and tidying and stuff like that. Now we're just going to go over a few extra dweller roles. Um, so new dwellers are survivors that join your vault. Um, they're assigned a role at the overseer's discretion. Uh, generally those roles are assigned based on the incoming dwellers traits though. Um, obviously it's up to you. Any pregnant dwellers that you have are excused of all of their duties um, because looking after their baby is of the utmost importance. They're repopulating the human race so they're excused of their duties. Your elders or older dwellers will continue to work in their assigned role until they 
die. Everyone in the vault needs to pull their own weight because there's only so many resources for everyone. Um, they're also responsible for teaching their replacement the ropes because by the time that your sim gets to that older age, they've got to start thinking about having a replacement come in, if you've got one, obviously. Now we're going to go into the staff duties uh, if you have any expansion packs installed. Um, so scientists we've expanded on. Um, with the get to work expansion. Um, so this dweller is now responsible for research um, and they also are responsible for inventing helpful machines for your vault um, and crafting serums. So using workstations found in the build by debug menu uh, from get to work is particularly helpful in this sense here. Um, there's also the medic from the get to work pack. So basically as simple as the dweller responsible for keeping the vault habitants healthy. Um, they are your doctor. Uh, they are the ones that are gonna help you <laughs> stay alive. There's a couple of variants to the engineer now as well. The first one I'm gonna go over is the discover university engineer. Um, so this particular version um, is responsible for creating robots and helpful machines to keep the vault up and running smoothly. Uh, but there's also the eco living variant of the engineer. Um, and this particular dweller is responsible for ensuring that your vault always has power and clean water. So they are the only other role that's actually done to leave the safety of the vault. And that's only to check on solar panels and wind turbines above the ground. Um, they're also in charge of upcycling materials that the explorers may find. Um, um, ruined in the wasteland and then fabricating any new and needed furniture. Um, finally, companions. Um, now these are pets um, from the cats and dog pet uh, and it's as simple as adding a pet to your vault. Um, the explorer should be in charge of training this pet though as it will go with the explorer um, whenever a requirement to leave the vault arises um, because pets are great at helping watch the explorers back as well as helping find collectibles. Um, so yeah. There are a few helpful mods that can make the game a little bit more interesting as well. Um, the challenge works if you're just gonna play it vanilla, but mods can definitely make the experience a whole lot better. Um, so there are a few that I found that are really great add-ons, especially for this particular challenge. So first off is MC Command Center by Deadpool. Um, this mod basically enables you to disable your younger dwellers, so teenagers and children, from going to school. So you can keep them home, keep them from going out to the outside wasteland um, uh, if you don't have this mod enabled obviously it's something that you can't really get around without it life tragedies by sacrificial is another really cool mod that you can put into your game um, basically it enables your sims to die or get sick of fatal illnesses uh, there are other life tragedies but you do have the ability to disable the others like armed robberies and kidnappings and stuff like that so with this you can say that if your sims do get a fatal illness it's the radiation leaking in and affecting them in some way um, a really cool thing that I found with this another cool rule that you could add with this particular mod um, increase your explorer's tragedy occurrence speed whenever they leave the safety of the vault. So if they're out and about exploring, depending on if they've got like a radiation suit or not, depends on how high you set that tragedy occurrence speed. Um, and when they come back down to the vault and they're back in the safety of the vault, then you can set it back to slow or whatever you originally have it at. Another cool mod by Sacrificial is Zombie Apocalypse. Uh, so you can change your nuclear radiation ravaged world to a zombie apocalyptic one. So zombies walk around on the surface um, and your explorers would need to be extra prepared um, before they actually leave the vault. It's a cool mod and really realistic as well. Um, finally, a really handy mod to have is Full House by Twisted Mexi, which just allows you to increase the number of your sims in your household so you don't have that limit of just eight sims. So that is pretty much the challenge there, guys. It's all laid out for you to have a go. I would love to hear how you get on. If you do give this a go, let me know down in the comments below. Um, and yeah, I'd love to see any vaults that you guys make as well, any bunkers, or something like that so maybe if we use the hashtag fallout challenge um and i can check them out when you guys upload them as well as your vault dwellers um i'd really love to see you give it a go so um good luck have fun and if you want to download a vault go and check out my a to z bunker because that will give you some ideas hopefully a little bit of inspiration um for your own vault or if you just want to download that one that's over in my gallery so you can go check that out too um it's always in the link down in the description below <laughs> yeah i hope you guys are staying safe i hope you're looking out for one another um and i will talk to you all next time Okay, bye. Place with all the zip of milk of cola. Wouldn't that be the choo choo cheeriest place in all the world? Where the river's made of quantum and the mountain tops are fizz. With fun and games and rides for all the